What is up everybody? I hope everyone's enjoying another new day. As you guys can see, it's not the nicest of days. We are supposed to get rain later today, so there is cloud cover. And uh, something I'd like to say to you in the next clip. Basically guys, I just got a mess I just noticed a message from Robbie. Try with uh, some posts of someone trying to claim the Buick 3800 was the best engine ever. Reality of it is, best engines ever made. American, the best American engines ever made are the LS engines. I'll say that now. Those engines don't. You can put a. You can put a huge amount of power in those things, and they won't break. Just make sure you put supporting mods on them. Those engines just straight up work. Heck, you could add 600, you could put 600 horsepower to a car in the General Motors lineup, and look at that. You don't even need to, you don't even need to strengthen the bottom end of that engine. Now, as for this whole V6 debacle, Robbie was trying to claim the Camaro's more reliable than I think. But the reality of it is, I've heard this from multiple people that it's not. It's not about what the internet says. It's about how people view it. The internet just... They only advertise things the way the company wants it advertised. So I will say this now. The one in the Camaro is not a Buick V6. It's a General Motors V6. The last Buick engine was in 1988. Ever since, every engine that you hear from General from a Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, or even Oldsmobile. They were all the same. They were all under the General Motors name. They all had the same configurations. All, all had the same engine codes. But the one in the Camaro was the uh, General Motors L36, 3.8 liter V6. And as I pointed out with them, they have a lot of problems. I looked this up online. If I had to look it up to prove a point to them, send the link, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, as you guys can see, it is still raining out here. It's been raining since this, earlier this morning because shortly after I did the intro, started raining and I'm not exactly surprised I mean, look at that over there I should tell you a little bit the fact that water is now flowing back here in streams see if our campsite entrance is a got any flowing water in it. The entrance certainly is covered in water. Holy crap. Hear that? Flowing water right here. Which means the entrance is probably covered in it too. Well, sorry, the actual pathway probably covered in water. And I have to I now have to be Way more careful. Wait, seriously? I'm not seeing any signs of flowing water on the path. Just the entrance. What the heck? Whoa! Yep. I see why. Why there's 
why there isn't much flowing path but water on the path. Uh, look at that. Good majority of it's blocked. So yeah, it's not really flowing. That got us on the lucky side of the street. However, we need to check the campsite too, make sure that isn't flooded. Oh. And by the looks of it, it's not. Yep, we're safe. We got lucky. It's nice seeing some flowing water in the brook again though. Even if it is a bit high. You literally can't see the bottom of it. It's bad. It's yeah, a lot of water. Now we need to be careful coming out of here. At some point, guys, I'm going to be doing another haunted video. Since I've got my new camera now, that won't be a problem. Well, it, this won't be the 4K one. So I'm gonna have to uh, hold off on the, four, the haunted 4K video. <laughs> I've got to be extremely careful right here. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's bad. And look at the way that's flowing right there. A massive puddle in there inside of Chesterfield Trading Company. I'm surprised they're still not I'm surprised they're not opened. Cause it is Monday after all. Now I have to be careful coming out of here. Look at that. I had to walk through that. And I was not happy, as you guys no doubt heard. Uh, best shoes, best pair of shoes I've ever gotten. And they're now soaked. As is my camera. I have to admit, that was quite a burp I just had. And no guys, I'm not going to get it on camera because I didn't record it. With anything. So yeah. It's cold out here. The funny thing is... Because of the way the skies are looking right now... You can see a lot more than you usually can. Just nowhere near as much as you'd be able to see with the moon showing its showing its face. Oh, that's my footprints. I forgot about this that entire section of the sidewalk being soaked. But yeah, I got to work at 11 a.m. tomorrow, so yeah, don't expect a whole lot of fanfare in my video. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to check what time I'm supposed to clock out and I will let you guys know at the moment that I clock out. Alright? And what the... Okay, the sky looks really dark right there. Not a good look. We 
little disturbing. Yeah, as you guys saw, my entire, basically only a part of the path was flooded. The one to my campsite, and surprisingly, it was even less than half. It's usually about half of it that's flooded. That actually surprised me. Anyways, guys, I have to let you guys go here, so. Let's just go ahead and roll the outro. Well, guys, that should about do it for this video. So, as always, go ahead and smash that like, like, like button if you, have, if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, guys, I would like you to check out my other channels. Go ahead and subscribe there. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my social media. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and even friend, send me a friend request on Facebook. Links are in the description below. And, uh... You know, if you, go ahead and subscribe to Robbie's channel if you want. As I also have the link to his channel in the description below. I, I would also like you guys to know that I am a freelancer on Fiverr.com. So if you guys would like to see what I do there, the link to my seller profile is also in the description below. Go ahead and check out my referral links for EpidemicSound.com, SoundJ, and Amazon Prime. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed your day, and I'll see you next video.